In the Alex Statistics course, there are a number of lessons over here in the green slice, or the mathematical readiness slice, which have to do with straight lines. All of these um, lessons in here and several others all depend on a set of notes that I call straight line basics. So let's take a minute and take a look at uh, those, those basic notes and let's uh, use this then to uh, create the, the foundation that we're going to build all of those other skills on. Now first of all notice that this magic equation y equals mx plus b is going to be essentially a formula, a recipe, a set of instructions, a mnemonic that reminds us what to do. It's all in a very condensed form, but it allows us to basically figure out everything we need to know about all straight lines except horizontal and vertical ones and Alex Statistics doesn't use those anyway. So right away let's start out with the magic equation y equals mx plus b. Now you have to realize that this in itself is in shorthand that these letters m and b are essentially placeholders. They fill blanks in a form and they stand for things. For example here the m stands for the concept of slope. Now I don't know who came up with the idea of using M for that, but that is very typical in many, many math books. Slope itself is a kind of a shorthand word for a fraction, which means rise divided by run, or it has to do with a ratio of a rising distance and a running distance. If we have straight lines that run uphill, that means that as we go across the line from left to right, we see that the line is running uphill. We can count this rise as a vertical distance that gets us from the lower point up on the same line as the upper point. And then the run is going to be this distance which always goes to the right from that point that we reached first of all. So rise over run is the slope. Now we say that smoke rises and that water falls, but in math we use the same word rise for both distances that go up as well as down. So in the case of a negative rise like this one, your line is going to go down then right. And of course this line will have a negative slope. So if the rise is positive, we will go up. If the rise is negative, we will go down and we will always run to the right. Now as we look back our, at our magic equation, y equals mx plus b, this letter b stands for our y-intercept. Now to intercept means to cut off, so basically a y-intercept is the place where a line is going to cut off the y-intercept. And so this point is going to be along here either above the x-axis or below it because we could have y-intercepts that are both positive or negative. And this number is always referred to as b, the y-intercept, the place where the line in question crosses over the y-axis. Now let's go on to some of the other specific types of problems, but they will all come back to this basic same set of notes.